Good morning. This is Leonie Dupuy from Maple Stitches, and this is Floss Tube number two. Sorry this took a little bit of time to film. I actually did a whole 40 minute video over my Christmas break, and lo and behold, I had filmed it from here down. Um, so I decided to kind of wait a bit until I got back in Florida to refilm and everything. And yeah, I said it, back in Florida. I spent my Christmas vacation in Canada with my mother and two of my siblings and it was it was pretty great but um, if you're unfamiliar Canada has pretty strict COVID protocols so it was a very you know um, quiet Christmas season. Anywho I'm just gonna jump right in. So question number one I told you guys I was going super far away to Joann's to get a very specific fabric, and I got it. So here she is. So this is a machine stitched fabric. So I'm kind of far from the camera today. Well, I'll move around. Um, so this fabric is actually looks like it was cross-stitched. Isn't that cool? So, I am going to be using this as the background for my up-and-coming stitch-along. So I'm currently designing a Jesse Tree Advent stitch-along and I'll be releasing that information in February. But, as a spoiler, it's going to involve one of these. This is a 24 inch uh, quilting hoop and then I will be placing this fabric in the hoop to serve as the background. So that's a little spoiler for you guys. Um, coming soon, if you're unfamiliar with the Jesse Tree, the Jesse Tree is an Advent devotional series uh, for children and adults and I think it's a really cool way to commemorate the coming of Jesus. So if you're a Christian and you are interested in this, just keep an eye out and um, I'll release that information as soon as I drop the patterns and all of the information. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting together the, the uh, prototype and it'll be so much fun and uh, I just can't wait and I, I'm just really glad I was able to get a yard of this. There are only two yards left at my Joann's. Um, okay, so next up, my finishes. Over break, I was able to finish my Dimensions Yuletide Village cross stitch kit. Um, and so I have them all here. It's 12 little uh, village scenes. So we got this guy. The drummers. We have got the bobsled. We've got the snowshoers. Where are they? They went and got a Christmas tree. The two ladies at the barn caroling with the kid. Oh wait, nope, that's a man and a lady. Anyways. The carolers, the ice skaters, let's see, we'll focus, there we go, we've got the bell ringer, these are the ladies of the barn, they went shopping, and then a the little snowman, And we've got some male carolers. There we go. And then here is the lady and her little baby. Super cute. So um, I have one that I didn't cut out. So this one is the ice skaters going around. And the reason for that is that I'm going to do a quick tutorial on what I consider the easiest way to finish a Christmas ornament with mason jar 
legs. Excuse me. And so um, I'll be put, putting together a little tutorial on how I finish uh, small round ornaments. And the cool thing with mason jar lids is that you have your traditional lids, which have the smaller diameter, but you also have the wide mouth lids that allow for a slightly larger diameter. And I kept them silver because I wanted to this time, but you can totally spray paint these to match whatever color scheme you've got going on. So I've done a matte black before, and it came out super great. Um, and then I put some felt on the back, and then, you know, do some kind of ribbon, some greenery, and then end up with something super cute. Focus. Kind of can't pick it up, but it's like a green with a gold shimmer. So, gosh, I guess, uh, as I was saying, I'm here in my bedroom today because I am not feeling at my best. I have a little bit of a cough, and so I don't want to get the roomies sick. They're also in medical school. They leave today to go um, to a wave rotation. So, a wave rotation is where we leave our hometown where our school is located for a month or two and we go learn at another hospital in another city. So it's pretty cool because you get to see different health systems, different cultures, but it's actually kind of stressful because you have to pack all your study things, all your clothes, and you know, you have to live there for a month or two and you still have to study and you have to work and um, like for me, someone who like loves systems and organization, like I have all my systems here at home, but then when I go away, they're gone. So it's definitely a challenge, but um, like I said, you do get a lot more exposure, you get to see different patients, and uh, sometimes they do that too because they know that there are really good teachers in another hospital, so we get to go there and experience those programs. Anyways, back to today's stuff. So I finished the Christmas carolers, and I finished um, my oology series, as well as two ornaments. So here it is. So I've got all four eggs. They came out so pretty. So if you go to Hobby Lobby right now, I just went yesterday. They have these really cute, small, they call them mini charcuterie boards. Yeah, Easter mini charcuterie boards. They're selling them for $3.99. But you flip them and there's no Easter symbol. So they're perfect for your cross stitch finishes. I am going to make one for each egg. Um, so I think I'm going to get that done today or tomorrow, but I'm so excited I found these because they were the perfect size for the Oology pattern by Satsuma Street. And so I can't wait to show you guys the full finish on this as well as the ornaments. And then I also finished over break those two Satsuma Street ornaments. So in 2018, I bought her full ornament kits. I just bought them all with the threads and the papers and Mill Hill beads. And they are so cute. I especially love little Santa. He's Candy Claws. You can't see him very well. There we go. So Candy Claws, super cute. And this is the partridge and the pear. So I didn't buy the other kits. Actually, I said 2018, I meant 2019. So these are the 2019 ornaments. I didn't buy the 2020 or the 2021, but they are out there. Okay, so speaking of Hobby Lobby, I found something. They have a bin now for um, six by six scrapbook paper. Now, I have been looking for a box recently to put all of my um, like metallic threads, like the Krynix and you know the DMA. So when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect, and it's only three ninety nine. Um, like a lot of cross stitch storage solutions are expensive, 
and I've said this before, but I'm in medical school, so, like, every dollar I take isn't actually mine. I just take money from the federal government, and they know that I'll hopefully pay it off later, someday. That's how federal student, student loans work. Um, so I'm always a fan of storage and cross-stitch deals. This was one of those. Uh, so right now they, they are all kind of like tumbling around in the box, but I intend on making like little cardboard dividers so they'll be able to stand up straight in the box and it's the perfect height that it even fits a standard bobbin. So like those standard plastic thread bobbins. Because I have a few from um, Sulky. So if you're familiar with the Sulky threads, they fit those, they fit the Krynix, and then they also fit the um, Balger threads and then of course I've got like a bunch of just schemes whether it's the pearl schemes or the floss schemes so they all just kind of live in here now so I'll have like a metallics only box um and I know I'm giving spoilers on spoilers on spoilers for my stitch line but I will be including some gold and green metallic threads in my patterns because what's a Christmas pattern without something fun uh, so for me, something fun for the stitch along is going to be metallic. Okay, now I'll scooch up and show my whips. So my whips actually are not that many. As you can see, I was really busy finishing projects. I know some people will have like 25 different projects going on at once. That is overwhelming to me. I'm more of someone who'll have like five, six at most, and that's just how I roll. So, Primrose Cottages released a freebie. So, I think you have to be on her email list or in her Facebook group, but it's called Merry Christmas. It was designed by Lindsay White. Um, you can see she finished it in a nice little cushion. So, I have stitched this for about 90 minutes. And look at how far I've gone. So I am stitching on 14 cal Ivory Ada, um, which is not the call for. She did it on 25 cal Vintage Country Mocha, two threads over two. Um, I didn't have that, and you know, it's it's going to measure six inches by two inches. So this is kind of the perfect project to just use whatever leftover pieces you have. So I had a little remnant. And so I'm rolling it up and stitching away on the top. Um, but I am making a lot of conversions on this. So basically it has one, two, three, four, five, six colors. It's 84 by 31 stitch count. Um, and it's essentially like you can see on the pattern. It's a green, a red, a slightly lighter green and then two shades of brown for the gingerbread. So if you have something like that in your stash, you know, go for it. I think smaller patterns like this are the perfect time to experiment with just using what you have, changing what you want, because you are making something small. So if you end up not liking it, it's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure this will be done by the end of next week. We'll see. I talked about this in floss tube number one, but the, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Little Red Riding Hood Parade. So I am very excited for this to start this month. I kit it up. I have all my threads in here. So I like to use um, these clear three ring binder sheets because then what I do is I keep them in the binder even while they're kitted up. Obviously you have to make sure they stay upright, but I don't find that to be too difficult if it's in the little binder. Um, but yeah, this is just how I do it. It's a little cheaper and then sometimes I include like a um, Ziploc inside of the poly folder. And so this Ziploc is empty right now, but I figure I'll keep pieces of cut thread in here. I will be stitching it on this piece of linen. This is a, an old Charles Craft even weave. It's 28 count even weave. 
and it is not what it is called for. This stitch along calls for, picture this plus spice Ada, which is beautiful. It's like this brown, like it almost makes me think of cookies and gingerbread. And I actually do own it, but I had been saving that color of fabric for something else. So I'm going to be using this lemon Charles Craft, excuse me, even weave, 20 count instead. And I did it. I joined another stitch along. I know. I've never even done the stitch along. I haven't even started my first stitch along. And I'm already joining my second one. I think a lot of you can see where I'm coming from. They're just so cute. Like, who comes up with these cute stitch alongs? The designers, obviously, but I couldn't resist. I joined the Caterpillar Cross Stitch um, Garden Grow stitch along. So a little bit about me. Uh, my father just passed away in September and he was a gardener. And so obviously the holidays were tough on everyone, especially my mom. And it, it's just, I feel for anyone who's missing a pillar in their family this season, you know? Um, it, you know, I'll miss him. Um, but, um, excuse me, I'm tearing up a bit. I think this would be great to do in his honor. Um, obviously I'm still healing, I'm still grieving, but it'll be great to do something that reminds me of him. And so, like I mentioned, I have my little three-hole punch baggie. And in it, I keep this one, I, I put everything in a plastic bag inside of it. So I have all my threads, and I have the Slate Blues Wide Guard 32 Count Lugana. But I am gonna be making three color conversions online. So I decided that I will be using the Lobster Claw Classic Color Works thread. It's kind of got this beautiful, looks like fiery variegation. So that'll be replacing the DMC 606. I will be using the Fancy Green Nancy. Let's see, can you pick it up? This one is having a hard time. But it's like, there we go. Like a light green, beautiful variegation too. And I'll be replacing DMC 700. And then I got Fleur de Mila. So it's a nice lilac to replace DMC 211. So I love purples. Um, and you guys saw last time that Licorice Red Classic Color Works was my first little um, floss drop of Fancy Thread. And I fell in love. This is bad because these are expensive, you guys, like, compared to a DMC, these are so expensive in my little student budget of mine. But, you know, this piece is going to mean a lot to me, um, and I figure, you know, I'll just slowly build up my collection, and yeah, so I'll be doing this, and the cool thing is, my mama who lives in Canada is going to be doing it too because she loved my idea of doing it you know in honor of dad she loves the theme too um but I got her kitted up while I was there and she'll be doing it on Ida because we all know that's easier when you're first starting out she's never done cross stitch but she has done needlepoint, so she likes to do needlepoint, but I convinced her to come to the dark side. So, she'll be joining me. And, I got a piece of happy mail from the Caterpillar Cross Stitch yesterday. And honestly, I think this is what motivated me to finally turn on the camera today, because I love to open happy mail with you guys. I love when people open happy mail on floss tube. It's just like, I am addicted to opening happy mail, and Seeing others open happy mail kind of feeds that addiction. So here we go. 
sorry for all the crinkly sounds. Oh, a cute little thank you for your order from Sally. <clears throat> and here we go. So this is the needle minder they designed for the stitch along. All right, let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. So um, this is their needle miner that goes with the stitch along, but I love gnomes. I think a lot of us do. And this is going to be my little gardener gnome. So it always makes me think of my daddy and I can't wait to put it to work. So their stitch along starts this month too. So it's not too late to join me and everyone else doing it. Um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch has this really awesome inclusive Facebook group for anyone who purchases their patterns and they are from the UK so if you do want to order like a kit from them though it takes a while to get here um, like I said they're from the UK so it's international shipping it's not like the frosted pumpkin stitchery where it comes in within a few days and so lastly my last whip is a free DMC pattern it's called caribou there we go. Um, DMC has a bunch of free charts, but what I like about the DMC patterns is they'll include some of their fancier threads. So I finally ordered an etoile scheme. So this is their blanc etoile. So it's kind of hard to see, but the etoile flosses have like a little bit of sparkle. I'm trying to get it to sparkle. Anyways, you've all seen them. And then they're also incorporating their Diama. Let me see Diama. So it's super bright gold. Very lovely. So that is my last whip. And now, the purchase I made that I shouldn't have made, but I did it. I did it. I got myself the Sullivan's designer box. So, I know I said I like opening Happy Mail with you guys, and I did open this with you guys on the video that filmed from here down, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, this thing is so cute when it's packaged. So it comes in what is like a, a photo box with the Sullivan's label on it, Sullivan's Embroidery Floss. It says on here 498 stunning colors, but they also include the um, 35 or so new colors. And so they come and they're all packaged by number order. So it's already basically organized and ready for you to bobbin or floss drop or Annie's Keeper, or whatever it is you do. I am bobbinating them and the reason I love this is that it was okay it was $120 it's a lot of money when you think of it but you guys that comes down to like 20 cents a scheme and the full collection and I was putting together um like all of the whips I was going to be doing this year or excuse me new starts I was going to be doing this year and it was going to cost me about $80 in DMCs. And, like, that's fine. But, for $40 more, I got the full collection. So I'm going to be putting them to work this year to see how I like them. Um, already, though, I can tell you that they have a little bit less of that shine like DMC hats. But their claim to fame is that they don't tangle as much. So, we shall see. I'll be using them a lot this year, and yeah, I think it'll just be fun to have all of the colors. So this is my Christmas gift to me. Anywho, that's it for today, floss tube number two. I am probably going to go for a walk, maybe a run or a jog. That's why I'm all dressed, ready to go outside. 
um, just to kind of get my blood flow in, my mind clear. I start my clinical rotations again tomorrow. I'll be doing pediatrics, so I'm very excited to do that. I don't know that I want to do pediatrics as a career, but I think kids are super cute. I worked as a camp counselor for a few years, so definitely going to be pulling out some of my tricks from that. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for being here, you guys. I love, 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 love interacting with you in the comments. I love it when I hear your ideas. I am just really thankful for you and uh, this whole floss to cross stitch community. So, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you want to see something, let me know. Just leave a comment, like, subscribe, turn on the little notification bell. And as always, you can find me on Facebook at maple underscore stitches. And I'll see you guys later.